instead of having like daily vlogs and I just feel so disconnected. I'm like, I have so much to say, but I'm back and look what I've come home to. Now, these are home stuff and I made a little Zara order. I'm not gonna open these with you. That's a bit of a tease. I shouldn't have showed you those. But Danny, who I was on the trip with, had so many nice outfits. And she, every time she wore something, I was like, where's that from? She's like, Zara. I'm like, where's that from? She's like, Zara. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to make an order. So I've got some bits to try on. I think there's one more box coming. So I'm gonna wait until they're all here. And I will probably do a try on haul on my main channel. Yeah, the thing she had on looks so nice. But I thought we'd do a little unboxing this morning. Welcome back to the vlogs. If you're new here, hey, my name's Emily. I have just moved house and I'm still unpacking my life. If you're not new here and you like these vlogs, please give this vlog a thumbs up. And if you have no idea what's going on, I actually, you know what? This is a great one to watch. I uploaded the vlog that went up yesterday, the day before. I told a little bit about my story and how I got to where I am today, how I ended up in my home, a, a little bit about my YouTube journey. So if you want to go and watch that, it's quite a nice one. I went back to my, like the old places that I lived in London. And I think it's probably quite a fun one to watch as like a viewer to see what like the outside of the place that I lived in look like because you obviously saw the inside and you got to know those rooms so well but I guess it kind of makes it feel quite full circle seeing the outside of the buildings I don't know I know I'm nosy and I know if any like youtubers go back to their old places I'm always like ooh, I didn't know that's where that was let's this out oh my goodness this is so heavy see now I have this decision where I'm like do I open this now and show you what's inside or do I wait and open this actually as an advent calendar during advent and have the surprise with you but that just feels like so far away I wonder if this is one that I'm going to be able to display oh my goodness this is honestly beautiful wait does it oh stop it there's more is this 25 days no it can't be guys it's 25 days of diptyque i thought this was just going to be like a 12 day -er. oh my goodness oh i can't open it yet wait let, let's just see what the drawers look like wait where's number one i feel like if i open number one it gives us an idea of what's in there but doesn't ruin the whole thing because i'm going to open that one first anyway i love this fragrance well this is my diptyque advent calendar i think the last one is a full-size candle. I don't want to open it and ruin it, but if you are looking to get a luxury advent calendar, then, I mean, there's 25 days in this one and it looks like there's a full-size product at the end. If enough of you ask me to in the comments, I will open the last day, number 25, in tomorrow's vlog, okay? If there's enough comments saying, Emily, open number 25, I, I genuinely will. It will ruin it for me, but I do kind of want to. <laughs> I just need, I need some encouragement. Okay, this is the heavy one and this is the light one. So I'm gonna start with the light one. If this is what I think it is, then this is very, very exciting. So... Hold your breath. Oh my gosh, the bubble wrap. I love it when they're well packed. <gasps> it is. Okay, so I feel like I have to do a swift disclaimer. When I unboxed my kitchen, I said I have so much fun stuff. I don't need any more of the fun stuff. I need some of the practical stuff, like cutlery, knives. And I still stand by that. But Kilner saw my video and they were like, you have some gaping gaps in your Kilner collection. We'd love to give you some bits to celebrate moving house to kind of complete your collection. And I was like, oh, yes. So it doesn't count. And have I ended up with a ton more stuff? Yeah, but it doesn't count. So, because it's a present, you know? So this is the spaghetti holder that I was saying I was going to get. So I can now unbox my spaghetti and put it in here. I got the pickle jar. This one's specifically for pickling because it has like the lift up bit that you drain it with, which is very, I should not stack that. I should not. I might be excited, but I can't be stupid. 
I got another one because you know what it's like. I feel like I'm never doing one thing at once. So I thought I'd get two of the pickling jars so I can pickle a couple of things at a time. So basically I got all the things that I want to try out and actually use and I'll probably end up doing it with you. But I got this preserving pan so I can make jam. Something I've always wanted to do but never done is make my own jam. I love, love, love jam. So I was like, that will be a great one. And I mean, I have no idea how to do it. My grandma loves doing things like that. So I should probably ask her. Um, but yeah, I'll do it in a vlog. I got this glass fridge drinks dispenser. This is a bit of a novelty one. Obviously, I'm not going to use this in everyday life. I could make myself like a nice drink and put it in here and just have it dispensed in the fridge. Even like cold brew coffee, I can make cold brew in here and have like cold brew on tap. That was kind of my thinking with it. Let's open this one. This one's very, very heavy. I would just like to say that this is literally bringing me so much joy and has made my Friday. So we have an easy fill funnel. So this is exciting. I was saying to you that I didn't have a biscuit tin and I still don't but I thought this could be quite good for now because it's like an airtight jar so I can just put my little biscuits in here because it's airtight so I thought that would be quite a nice one and it's just pretty. I got a food container so this will be really good for leftovers and just keeping food in the fridge that you know, I made. I'm such a leftovers girly. I will not leave anything. Like, as someone who lives alone and eats alone a lot of the time, I'm so confident in saying that there is honestly no food wastage in my house. Any offcuts get put in the freezer and they get made into broth. Any leftovers get put in the fridge and something like this for the next day and get eaten. Is yeah, I, I'm like, I was very aware of it from a young age, so it's become just a real natural practice in my life. I got this preserves jar. I actually don't own any of them this size, and I thought that was a very handy size. I got this three litre jar. I I don't think I have any this large as in like this wide I have some tall ones but yeah this is, has quite a wide top so I just think it's going to be incredibly versatile and as I said I'm not unpacking things I'll link my video down below where I sorted out my pantry but I'm not unboxing things unnecessarily just things that maybe the box doesn't shut properly or you know it, you know when it's kind of appropriate and not and I thought that could be really handy they've even shown pasta in it there's so much you can do a couple more of these we have another three litre jar. Gosh, this whole vlog's going to be me unboxing kitchen things. Another storage box. I also like these because they're glass and they're not plastic and I have this weird thing about plastic. And they're also great because you can just pop them in the dishwasher. I also got the larger one. I didn't know which one would be more appropriate for biscuits, but this is definitely far too large for biscuits. So let me know, what should I put in this? I could display this one actually. I don't know what I would put in it. Give me, give me some inspo. And finally, because I said I want to start making my own jams, I got these preserve pots. Look at the little shape of them. So I have four. I don't know if they're all the same shape. I think they are. Yeah, are they little raspberries, I think? How adorable are those? So I can't wait to get making my own jams. That's something that I've had on my like want to do list for the longest time. So now I have somewhere to put them, some, something to make them in, somewhere to store them. It's perfection. This is all very exciting. This is very reminiscent of like when I first moved in a couple weeks ago because I'm now going to like unbox all of this, wash it all and then find a home for it. So I think we're gonna start with my knitwear because I think that's going to be the easiest over here i mean i've only got half a rail anyway and i know so many of you are freaking out because i've got it hung up and it will stretch but i have nowhere else to put it and to be honest i think if it's hidden away it just won't get the use and the love so hopefully it'll be okay i mean it has been in drawers for the past couple of years so if i notice anything stretching out i will obviously change up the storage scenario but for now i i want to see it you know and also i don't have a drawer this is probably going to be pretty straightforward in fact most things that are hung up should be quite straightforward because i don't think i would have hung them up if i didn't love them well them. So we have this Ralph Lauren sweater. It's a cable knit black sweater. Love this. Literally got it last year. And other stories pearl sweater. Love that. Really I should let this go because it looks a bit grubby. It's not grubby. I got it last year. It just doesn't clean very well. So I'm gonna probably get a couple more wears out of it. Then I'll pass it on. And then and most of these actually are like and other stories. So this is and other stories and I love it. This is and other stories. I got this literally a couple weeks ago. Oh gosh that doesn't look too healthy does it? I don't want to hear it. I know you're right. Love all of these. I would say my knitwear is quite a carefully curated collection. This is Amazon. Would you believe it? Such a nice colour, such a nice style. Massimo and other stories. I literally love all of these. Again, this is one from and other stories that I really should pass on because it just doesn't look the nicest. But I love it. I basically shrunk it the second time I wore it and I, I re-stretched it out. But you know when it's never the same? All a 
I think I'm pretty sure all of these are under the stories. Oh, this is another Amazon. And I, yeah, literally love and wear every single one of these. This is so easy. Done. Easy. I mean, I don't know if you call that successful because I didn't get rid of anything, but it's done. The first rail. Now, what I'm really hoping this achieves is it gets rid of anything that I don't love and wear and also encourages me to wear different things. So this free is one I love. This I got so many questions about this Sandro top. I bought this for my dad and my mum was like, it's broken. There's a mark on it. Take it back. And I had it in my car and just forgot to take it back. And eventually I was like, I'm just going to keep it. And I love it. I will link it. It's a men's one. But again, I mean, I keep t-shirts that I never wear. Like, I used to be obsessed with these All Saints crop t-shirts. I don't wear them anymore. But I feel like it's silly to get rid of something as simple as a plain black t-shirt that could be worn. I mean, I would say a recent purchase I regret is this from Massimo. It's been worn once. And I think it just looks worn out already, which I don't really like. But, and again, this is Massimo. And I think it looks washed out after one wash, which is just a bit annoying. But yeah, most of these I love and wear. This is so gorgeous. I mean, I don't really know why I've kept this. This is Uniqlo. I actually never reach for this. I think I wore it in a vlog like three months ago. But whenever I wear it, I don't feel good. Yeah, this is going. I don't feel good in it. I put it on and I wear it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm wearing it because I own it. But I don't feel good in it. So that's going. Gosh, I've kept this for years. This is at, uh, Zara. I love and adore this. I will keep it forever, even if I never wear it. This is Isabel Morant. I actually didn't get a chance to wear that this summer which is a shame but i guess it could be quite autumnal if i go somewhere warm so i am going to keep that out this one i didn't have a chance to wear but how beautiful is this it's denim i think this is cos or arquette i saw this and literally ordered it immediately i was like that is a bit of me it's arquette but isn't that beautiful i was thinking with like white trousers in the summer we've got my staple adenola top that i love yeah i think the majority of this one i just keep keeping and i never wear i wore it a lot when i was doing like house tours and things because it was quite dressy but like fun i don't really reach for it but then i am like well maybe for that occasion it is worth keeping that's what i have all my shirts for really yeah uh see it's funny because i don't look at these and go oh my gosh i love them but like should you ever get rid of a white top or like a plain white shirt or is it do you know what you mean or is it going to be really useful i think that's good for now all right we've had a change of program i'm gonna go meet one of my friends for coffee and then we will come back and do this i feel like it's it's a friday i want to go and see one of my friends to finish the week off and we can do this later but we are gonna go through every single thing in this room today so it's it's happening and even the bags behind the door uh but i need a bit of need a bit of social interaction <laughs> i feel like i've been spoiled this week seeing so many people and I'm, now i'm here i'm like who's around who wants to do something I'm back and I've literally just spent the last like hour and a half on the phone to so many different people playing catch up. I don't know why everyone wants to talk. It's a Friday night. Go and get your takeaway. But let's move on to this one. I am actually host, I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you this. I'm hosting this very exciting event with someone and someone. I don't think I'm allowed to say. But I'm trying to convince my mum and Sophie to come, but it's on a school night. So I was like, I'm going to tell her in advance, like as soon as I know the date. And my mum was like, well, you can count me in. I'm 100% there and I'll talk to Sophie. So that would be amazing if they can both come because it's something that's very important to me. And it's like one of the coolest things I've ever done. And it's very rare that my family are actually able to come to those kind of cool moments. Like they weren't able to come to my bar class that I hosted. And I don't actually think they've ever been to any of my meet and greets ever. This isn't a meet and greet, but you know, I, I would love for them to see the other side of what I do, like the real life side, because obviously they're in so many of my videos and they see all of that, but I would love for them to see like the real side. Like obviously they meet so many of you guys out and about, but I don't know, I would like them to see it. So anyway, on to scarves. I think I'm gonna keep all of these, but just because I know you like me to go through everything. We have my acne scarves. I love both of them. I actually got them both on Farfetch, but if you are wanting like an acne scarf, probably get it around now because they, they sell out, which is so crazy. I have a couple of Burberry scarves. Both are, no, this is Mr. Village. This is not, but I wear them both so much. And then I have a whole host of, this is very random, but Mulberry scarves. They are like blanket scarves and they, they're actually really good to take on planes. So I have a few of those. This is just a smaller one, but I'm honestly kind of like set for life with scarves. If you ever see me buy another scarf, unless it's very cute, 
then you have my full permission to tell me off because I literally do not need it. And finally, I have this one, which of course I'm keeping. And then we move on to my dresses. I keep telling myself, I'm like, surely this can't be all of my dresses, but I think my summer dresses are just away, but we'll obviously do those. So let's start at this end. We have my Marge dress. I have had this altered. It fits me like perfection. So I'll be keeping that forever. We then have my two kind of festive season dresses. This is and other stories. This is also and other stories. Again, I will keep them forever. I just love a little dress. This one from Zara, I should get rid of because look how bobbly it is. But I think what I'm going to do is wait until I've got a replacement and then I'll get rid of this. But I need to find my bobble machine and kind of sort that out. This is another and other stories. It's just great for kind of like the festive season. Why is this even out? This is like a summer beach dress. It's free people and I'm obviously keeping this, but I don't need it out. I have a little Sandro play suit. Of course, I'll be keeping this. And then we come into like the more random ones. So this is an All Saints dress, but it's actually a set. It comes with like a cute little crop top. I am going to keep this because I don't own anything else like it and it's really nice. I have this jumpsuit, which is Urban Outfitters. Again, going to keep it. I don't wear it that often, but it's quite a cute one to wear when it's really warm, but you want to be covered up. I can wear like a cute bralette underneath. But again, I really don't need it out right now, do I? I'm going to put that away. My French Connection dress. You guys always ask me about this dress so much. I really like it, but it's not the most flattering. It's like an oatmeal colour. So I think I might be on the lookout for something similar that actually is like figure hugging because this just hangs where you don't want it to hang. So I like it, but I think I need like a better fitting one. But for now, it can stay. Have my soft goat dress. I adore this. This is just so beautiful. If you're looking for a really great quality cashmere dress, beautiful. This is Marge, just again a beautiful occasion dress that I'm going to keep. My Reformation cashmere brown dress. These are all things kind of like for the upcoming season. Ooh, so this is free people. I love it, but it looks so worn out and I've not even had it for that long. So if anyone knows how I can make this look new again, please let me know. I don't know if I need to dye it or if I need to like wash it in a certain way. I don't know. I mean, I washed it very carefully on cold. It just, you know, when something looks immediately worn, it's just, I don't know why I don't don't like it and I keep not reaching for it. I have this new Sandro dress which really should go on my new in rail because I haven't worn it yet so I'm going to put it to the side so I can take it over there. This is my Zenny dress from Reformation. I need to get this altered really but I'll, I'll find the time. <laughs> this is an, is this Akla I think? Yes, an Akla dress. This is stunning. Again, I got that on Farfetch and I will keep it forever. A Georgina Hardenage dress. Again, just like a classic. I feel like you can't go wrong with black dresses. And I think I do have just such a great selection. This is a Reformation silk one. This is actually a play suit, which is really nice. I don't wear it that often, but what brand's this? I think it's Paper London. Oh no, it's outline. But I will keep this forever just because it's so handy. The Couples dress, again, this should go on my new in rail because I haven't worn it. But I definitely think this is going to be more of like a, an upcoming season dress. I think I saw this in the window in Geneva and immediately was like, oh, this is like the Sandro one that everyone has, but not that one. So I was like, I'm going to get it. And I'm glad I did. I just need to find an occasion to wear it. My cult Gaia dress, again, this is beachy. This does not need to be out, but I do love this. I think I got this on the out net, you know? And I wore it in Miami and I wore it the first night I got there. I felt so beautiful in that dress. I did get dressed with me. And I don't know if I ever told you this story, but in the space between leaving my room, getting in the lift and going down to the lobby, I got hit on by two different guys wearing that dress. So I don't know what that tells you, but I will link it down below. I actually don't think it was the dress. I think it was my energy. My energy was so good that night. I don't think I vlogged, but I definitely filmed the get dressed with me. I was just in such a great mood. <gasps> yeah. I was looking for this. So this is my Reformation cashmere dress. I think I got this on Black Friday last year. I wear this, well, haven't recently, but I have worn this so many times. It was like cost per wear, one of the best dresses I've ever purchased. And I wear my cute little like YSL belt with it. I should change it up, but I just really like how that looks. This is a beautiful Reformation cashmere dress. I haven't worn this as much as I would have liked to. So I definitely need to put it on, I'm gonna put it on a, on a rail to prioritize wearing because it is beautiful, but there's only like, we have such a short gap in the UK where it's warm enough to wear a jumper dress, but not too cold, but not too warm. So I'll figure out. And then I have my Mickey Tommy Hill figure jumper dress, which really probably shouldn't be on this rail but I don't know where else I'd put it. So for now, it's going to live there. Okay, onto the trouser rail. Again, I think this is quite straightforward. You can probably see, although it's all spread out, I don't have like an obscene amount of clothes. I think everyone seems to think I have a ridiculous amount of clothes and I, I don't really think I do. Considering like my job partly is 
fashion. I really don't think I do. So I have my Kate trousers. These are just like skinny flare trousers that have a cut. Very, very nice for like an evening look. I have my Jeff Avenue trousers. They're perfect. I will never get rid of those. These are my mango leather trousers. They're not real leather, but these have done me so well. I'm going to link them down below because they bring them back year after year. But these are the best fitting, longest length, like fake leather trousers that I have ever owned and I've been through quite a few pairs. I have my Topshop Jamie jeans. I should get rid of these but I actually don't own another pair of black skinny jeans so again I think I need to replace them but they are just so old and they just look. You know when jeans look old so I need to think about that but until I get a replacement I do need a pair of skinny jeans in my wardrobe. I have my Levi's jeans. These are the 501 150s I think. 501 90s. I got these pretty recently, wore them to a concert, and I really like them. I highly, highly recommend. If you want a pair of jeans that is low waist, oversized, long enough, but like still quite flattering and they fit really nicely, they're a good one. All these trousers I get asked about so much. These are Dickies, and I don't actually know what style they are. I got them, I think, from Urban Outfitters or ASOS, but they're just the coolest, most fun, comfortable trousers. I am a bit of a tomboy. I mean, I feel like my style is very one way or another. I'm either in like a pretty floral dress or I'm in something like this with a crop top. And I quite like that I have that about me and about my style because it is fun just to wake up and be like, hmm, what am I feeling today? I have these green reformation jeans. I need to try these on. I don't know how I'm feeling. I keep keeping them and I do like them, but I think they're, they're a bit frumpy. So I'm gonna put them on the pile of things to try on and see how I feel. I have my Uniqlo trousers. These are just quite comfortable. Like, I don't think they're the most beautiful things in the world, but they're comfortable, they're low waist, they're quite like a modern shape and they're nice just to wear with like a, like a nice knit plain tee if I'm wanting something quite dressed down and comfortable, like road trip vibes, so. <laughs> I'm gonna try them on just to be safe because we are being brutal. These are my Garni jeans. I got these very, very recently. They're like parachute jeans, but I love them. I've only worn them once though. I need to wear them. I basically went to a meeting and a girl had them on and I was immediately like, I am going to buy those when I get home. I have my Levi's jeans. I've had these for years. These are 501s. I got them on Amazon Fashion. I'll link them down below. And I love them. I have my Reformation Liza jeans. Again, one of my favorite pairs of jeans. These are my Levi's 501 90s in, oh no, these are the 501 150s. Well, I like them. So I thought they were the same. Maybe I'm confused. Either way, very nice. Really like them. Wear them a lot. These are another pair, I think, of, yeah, Reformation Liza jeans. I used to keep, like, one pair in Los Angeles. I have quite a few duplicate things, actually, that will be in the bags that I used to keep in LA. And obviously I don't anymore, so I need to, like, sort those things out and decide what I'm going to do with them. I have my Loewe jeans. I would love to get these in a darker colour for, like, autumn, winter. I really, really like these. I had these tailored, so they fit me like a glove. My Zara trousers that still have the label on, because if you haven't been here for a while, I used to have another pair of them, and they basically shrink every time I wash them even if I wash them on cold and don't tumble them and yeah I haven't dared wash those yet or wear them in fact so yeah I have the bright white pair of the joggers that I'm wearing these are brandy and I literally live in these joggers I have a grey pair a white pair and a cream pair and just wear them on rotation they're the most comfortable things and I actually am so grateful to have a pair of joggers that fit me lengthwise I have a pair of black Zara shorts I feel like these are just good to have I don't really reach for them but they're good to have a mango skirt mango have the best skirts that one's mango and this one is also mango just like the plain black one and then I have I think this is a Sandro skirt with the little pearls. I actually like to wear that with the pearl jumper from other stories. It's not exactly the same, but I didn't like the cardigan enough to keep it, so like that went with it. This is a pair of shorts. Oh, I'm gonna try these on because I don't know what I think. These are and other stories. I actually have the matching jacket for this. I don't know where it is, but again, it was something I was keeping because it was a nice set to wear in like, I don't know, when I was shooting for other people, not for me. And I don't know what I think, so they're going on the try on pile. By the way, I'm gonna try these on tomorrow. I'm not doing it tonight. I have this Sandro skirt that I need to get altered because it's too big but I have the matching jacket and it's a really cute set but it just doesn't fit me right now so I need to get that altered and finally my reformation silk skirt you guys know I have this in black as well and I love the green so I would have this in every color if someone said to me you can have one item of clothing in your wardrobe and every color it comes in what one would you like I would pick that it's so good by the way I'm in absolutely no rush to film this I'm just trying to speak at a good rate so I don't bore you because I want to show you every piece I don't even know why I'm stood here I've showed you these let's move on to coats this is the new skirt that I want to try on so that can go over there we have this should be quite straightforward we have my Canada Goose Alison Parker that I love and wear my H&M black 
coat. I want to get a new one. I don't love it. But I'm going to keep it until I get a new one. But just know that I'm on the lookout for another black coat. Just my leather jackets. These are, this is all saints. This is BDG from Urban Outfitters. I haven't actually worn this yet. It's brown. Isn't it so nice? It's like a more affordable version of the mango one that Gigi Hadid wore that everyone's now obsessed with. But I don't want to pay £300. Another All Saints jacket. These are just things you can't get rid of. I've got my Goldberg fleece ready for skiing. My Montclair jacket. These are just things that I I know I'm going to wear and I'm not going to get rid of. This is a new blazer. This needs to go on the new in rail from Under the Stories. Honestly, the goal by the end of this video is to have rails of clothing that I look at and go, wow, I love everything, which is quite a tough task in reality because obviously you need things in your wardrobe that maybe you don't love, but are appropriate for kind of, you know, like work occasions and things like that. But I have this All Saints flannel shirt. It's more of a shacket. I don't really reach for it, but it is very cozy and it's quite a nice kind of unisex piece. And if I want throw it over leggings or something so I, I am going to keep it because I do really like it and I think I would end up repurchasing something like it anyway my mango blazer again I just love this so much oh I haven't told you have I you need to watch the vlogs in the next few days because I have something being delivered that you're absolutely going to die at it's so funny anyway this is that jacket that matches the skirt from Sandro we then have the white Sandro coat that I loved I didn't get dry cleaned I don't know why I got every other coat dry cleaned except this one my Burberry trench now this should probably go my end of the stories coat i like it i just don't think i reach for it enough to justify keeping it and i don't really think it's my style and i look at the people that i i aspire to be like fashion wise and they wouldn't wear this not that that's what it's all about but i when i envision what i want myself to look like in my head and clothes it's not this i think what would i actually wear it with and it is like skirts tights cashmere turtleneck it's lovely it's just not doing anything but it's lovely I'm gonna try it on. We have the Marge cardigan that you guys all love. I actually think I might put this in my buy rotation because the amount of messages I get with people asking if they can buy it from me, I don't think I can ever sell it, but I would obviously love for you guys to be able to wear it. Oh, here's the jacket for the shorts. I'm going to try that on as well. We have my All Saints coat. Now every year, All Saints bring out, I've actually seen this year's, it's very nice. Very nice coats. And this was one from a few years ago. I need to get this one cleaned. Again, don't know why I didn't when I did my dry cleaning the other week, but this is beautiful. And I wear this to death. My hopscotted jacket from school that I literally have not worn in about 20 years. Well, no, like 10 years. Yeah, oh my gosh, 10 years. But I know I will one day, so I'll keep that. And I, I don't think I'll ever find a quilted jacket that I like more than this one. It's so feminine, so beautiful. And I love the fact that the hardware is gold. My Uniqlo blazer, I wore this the other day and I don't love it. So I am going to pass this on, believe it or not. Does it make sense to pass on a navy blazer? Probably no, but it's so flat. And I like my clothes to have a bit of texture. I have my Sandro trench coat. This is navy. I do want a different navy trench coat, but this is beautiful. I love the pleating on the back, but I want a more like grungy one. I also have this Sandro trench coat. You would think that this wouldn't get much wear, but I actually wore this so much in spring. I think I took this to Paris actually. It's beautiful i love this slightly more like military style jacket on a trench coat and yeah i i just think this is absolutely beautiful and i will never ever get rid of it i have my old burberry trench this is gorgeous again we'll never get rid of it i think this is the sandringham yes so it's a bit more fitted than my what's this one the waterloo so as you can see how my style's evolved, it's quite like smart. And then this is a bit more casual and like trenchy. Whereas this is, I mean, it's just more fitted, more blazer vibes, but I'll never get rid of them. They're so special. This is my, I think we realized in the end, it wasn't even my grandma's. It was my great grandma's at Chris Guton coat. Again, I will never get rid of this. It's just a bit of a time casual piece and she kept it immaculate. And I intend on doing the absolute same. The mango blazer of dreams. If you do not own a black blazer and you cannot find the right one, I will link that one down below. That has lasted me. <laughs> about six years i love it another mango blazer mango just had the best blazers in the whole entire world this is frame i think i'm gonna pass this on because it's just not very me i got it to wear for a specific event and then didn't wear it for that event and i was like i'll keep it because one day maybe i want to dress up you know like barbie or something like that and i just no 
just know. This Zara blazer, I'm pretty sure matches the trousers. And it's just also good to have. And it was a much nicer color than the other cream blazer I had. I think this is more white than cream. This is where it gets a bit weird. This Cos, I think it is, or Arquette. Arquette dress. Don't know why it's on here. I love it. I wear it all the time, keeping it. I have my Gymshark fleece. Again, love this. Not going anywhere. I have my The North Face Sherpa jacket. This is a cropped one. This jacket, I bought it and I was like, yeah, like I love it. Knowing full well, it'll probably be one of those things that I wear for a season and then maybe I'll like pass it on. Oh no way. I wear this so often. I've worn this on, like I take it on the plane with me. It's my grab and go jacket and you would not think that it would be, but I just love it and it just matches everything. And then at the end here, I just have my new robe, which is absolutely beautiful. I unboxed it at the end of yesterday's vlog. I need to try it on for you. I did try it on last night. It is fine. So that's, you know, a relief, but yeah, that is everything on that and then we get to the new in rail now normally this would be so incredibly organized but it's a bit of a mess because i have my dry cleaning on here i have just so many random things that actually i think the only new in thing is the blazer that i showed you <sighs> the reformation skirt that is basically a longer version of that short silk skirt this one goes all the way to the floor i don't think anything else is actually new no, that's it. And the rest that we have to go through is actually in bags in the corner. So I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to do the rest in the morning and do the bags as well. So if you want to see me try on everything that I'm thinking of passing on, I'm going to pop some bits on Depop, go through those bags, then come back tomorrow. But for now, I basically need to have a mad dash tidy ready for the morning just so everything is like clean in its space. I need to unpack my suitcases that are on the floor right there. And I'm also going to move all the boots out of this room so it feels like less clean in here I just it's a lot of stuff you know like stuff stuff wow it looks so much better in here without the boots also I need to sort through this drawer because I can't shut it but look I have taken all of the suitcases off all of the clutter and it just looks amazing I've got the clothes that I want to try on here and then even out here this was like all lined with stuff up the stairs it's all gone and then in the gym this is what it looks like so help me out what color yoga mat and like weights do I get because I obviously can't do pink because it's a terracotta room I mentioned this the other day but I'm thinking do I do like a charcoal color or do I go like a beige but is that going to be too difficult to match with like the floor I know it's not that deep but I think because I have like an empty room I really need to make the most of it but I also want to be practical I don't want to get things that are going to like you know discolor but I love my little locker. I need to get a floor length mirror in here. I want to get one that's like on the wall, I think ideally, but I'm going to wait until the wardrobes are in. But I can get a new yoga mat and some weights for now. So let me know, I need, need some inspo. Also the bathroom's finished, but I'll show you that tomorrow. But I will show you the guest room, this is bad. This needs sorting. I think I might do that partly tomorrow as well because I have my appointment booked in for my shutters to be fitted and it is next week. And I am very busy at the start of next week and the appointment's at the end of next week, which means this all needs to be done. You know all that stuff that I said was like on the landing out there? <laughs> Yeah, basically anything that I didn't know where to put it has gone in here, which is, you know, a slight problem. Not gonna lie. Um, I could probably do, like, I could probably get rid of some of the boxes, but then the problem is, like, where does it go? I also have some summer clothes in here that I need to sort. I have, like, that pillow. I could put the pillow somewhere, but the pillow's for the guest room, and the mattress is for the guest room, but this is what the guest room looks like. You know, this is this is where we're at, which is a, a bit of a situation, but also, all of your responses to what I should do with this absolutely killed me. I'm glad we're all on the same page, do you know what I mean? It's too beautiful to, like, forget about, but, yeah, maybe I do get an umbrella stand by the front door and just, oh, you know what I could do? I could get just kind of two brass hooks, like, on the wall by the front door and just have a singular umbrella by the front door. That would be quite bougie, wouldn't it? But, yeah, that's the situation in here. It's a bit overwhelming, but there's always got to be one room, hasn't there? And at least it is just one room and it's not multiple. I think, obviously, there's no wardrobes going in here, so what I think I'm going to try and do is, for the shutter installation, just clear as much as possible, then put it back in here, and then the wardrobes will get fitted, and then I can start decanting the things into the wardrobes. That's, I think, what the plan will be, but they obviously have to be able to get to the windows to fit the shutters, and every room has shutters, except my bedroom, and there's no way this is all going in my bedroom. Imagine, imagine waking up and being surrounded by all this stuff. I, I don't think I would get out of bed. <laughs> but my friends, I'm going to love you and leave you. I will see you bright and early in the morning where we're going to finish the wardrobe clear out. I will show you the finished bathroom, and it's the weekend. Oh, and I'll probably fill you in on my plan for like the rest of like the vlogs and how long I'm gonna be vlogging for, because I think I've figured it out and it feels kind of perfect. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good night.